my brothers and sisters in Islam. There are no better months in the entire year than what Allah calls the forbidden months and they are four. And among these four forbidden months, the most important month, the most beloved to Allah among them is the month of the Hijjah, which we are in right now. And within this month of the Hijjah, the best days are the first 10 days of the Hijjah, which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves the most. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala swears oath by these 10 days in Surah Al-Fajr where he says, and by the dawn, and by the 10 nights, Ibn Abbas radiallahu anhu and other companions said, these are the first 10 days of Dhul Hijjah. My brothers and sisters, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam even said that these days are the best days in the entire world, better than every other day during the entire year. And the great Ibn Hajar, the great scholar said, the reason probably for these 10 days to be the most important and beloved is because within them, there are all the actions of worship that occur that do not occur in any other month other than it, such as fasting, prayer, Hajj, Sadaqah, all of them happen here. My brothers and sisters, these days are even better than the last 10 days of Ramadan except that the nights of the last 10 days of Ramadan are better than the nights only of the Hijjah. As for the daytime, they are the best. There is no better day. My brothers and sisters in Islam, for this reason, we must increase in our good actions and good work in these 10 days. And we must enter into these 10 days, every Muslim should enter it, by seeking forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as an introduction. Clear yourself from the past sins as much as you can and ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive you, then increase in all the good acts. For wallahi, in these days, every good act is higher and greater and more magnanimous than any other day. But at the same time, the sins and disobedience to Allah in these 10 days are also magnanimous and mean more seriously than any other days. Why? Because sins in the days which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has honored for himself are greater and more serious than other days. Therefore, if you do a sin in these days, do not wait. Immediately repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and say astaghfirullah. Do not delay. And if you do a sin, follow it up with a good deed. The good deed will wipe it away, inshaAllah, as the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said. The Prophet peace be upon him said, there are no days that are more beloved to Allah in doing good acts than these 10 days. The companion said, Oh Rasulullah, even going to fight in the cause of Allah and dying, he said, even that, except for a person who goes out with his own self and his own wealth and does not return with any of them. Meaning brothers and sisters, these 10 days, nothing can match them, even the life of a person fully given for the sake of Allah. The Prophet Sallallahu also said, there are no greater days than these 10 days. And there are no actions that are more beloved and closer to Allah than these 10 days. Then he said, increase in repeating the following words. SubhanAllah, Allah is the great, Allah is most glorified. Alhamdulillah, la ilaha illallah and Allahu Akbar. Say them out loud in the mosque. Say them out loud at home. Say them in your car. Say them when you're walking. And it is preferable for the men to say them loud and the women to say them silently. My brothers and sisters in Islam, what a great time for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to choose it for us. What a great blessing that he has given us for it reminds us of Allah. It shows us how Allah is close to us. It shows us how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is always with us and he only wants the best for us. It is a mercy. It also shows us the connection and the oneness and the unity between all of the Muslim ummah all around the world as we celebrate this time and as we do good acts with all our brothers and sisters, including the ones who are in Hajj right now. Brothers and sisters, among the good deeds that we can do in these 10 days are the following. To pray your prayers on its time. Try your best not to delay the time of Salat and increase in voluntary actions of Salat like your sunnas and the other voluntary Salat. For a companion said that the Prophet said to him, 
Pray and make sujood to Allah as often as you can. For Wallahi, every sajda that you make, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brings you closer to Himself and He will bring you and He will take away from your sins and from your bad actions more and more. My brothers and sisters in Islam, among the things that we can do also is to fast as many days as we can from these first 10 days. The scholars have, the majority of scholars said to fast most of these days or all of them is among the highest virtues of Islam. If you cannot fast all the days, then at least do not let the day of Arafah, fasting the day of Arafah pass you. When is that day? The day of Arafah is the ninth day of the Hijjah. Aisha radiallahu anha says that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam never missed the ninth day of the Hijjah except that he fasted it. The Prophet peace be upon him told us about that day of Arafah saying, I hope from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and I have asked him that whoever fasts it, all their sins one year before to be forgiven and one year forward to be forgiven insha'Allah ta'ala. Among the virtuous deeds in the 10 days, is also repeating the word subhanallah, alhamdulillah, allahu akbar, and la ilaha illallah. Among the virtuous deeds also in these days is to intend, make the intention to do an uthiya. The uthiya is done, of course, after the 10 days have finished and within the first four days of Eid al-Adha. Whoever makes the intention to do an uthiya, the rewards are amazing and cannot be counted. For in the uthiya, we share our food and we share our blessings that Allah has given us with all our brothers and sisters all around the world. We share the happiness and celebrate with our friends and our family by eating from this uthiya as well. So whoever is able to do an uthiya, then do it. It is one uthiya, one qurban per household if you want to do it. And this is the recommended sunnah according to the consensus of the scholars. But whoever wants to do the uthiya, it is recommended that you do not Take any of your hair off from your body. Don't touch any hair or any skin. According to the majority of the scholars, this is disliked. And according to a minority of the scholars, this they consider it to be forbidden for whoever is going to make the uthiya. Brothers and sisters in Islam, and among the virtuous deeds is of course, connecting your family ties, being good to your parents, doing less and less of your sins and disobedience to Allah. Pray in the night when everyone else is asleep. Forgive and forget from those who have wronged you if you can. Increase in your good deeds wherever you can and wherever you are able to. And inshallah, it will be a reason to enter paradise in peace. Experience the power of uninterrupted viewing with our ad-free app One Islam TV, allowing you to connect deeply with the content. Explore the rich teachings of Islam and strengthen your faith through our regular new content. Download the One Islam TV app now.